Yeah, to understand both of those shiurim. And I, th I think we were right on, you know, the group was right into it. Listen, this is very uh, Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay. For those, the, for those people who don't drink, there's not a problem. And for those people who don't take medicine, it's not a problem either. How about those who don't eat jello? <laughs> Tea. <laughs> okay, so we are on Sochim Daf Yud Aleph. We're going to mm -hmm. start from Yud Amid Beis on the bottom. Frey the Gemara Umi Gazer Rabbi Yehuda Dil Mosi Lamechlamine. Right, Rabbi Yehuda was the one that said that. Uh, you should be boydek because you might otherwise you're going to come to eat the chametz that you find. So is that so that he was goyzer? That you might eat some? Mishikoreva Omer. So on the 16th day of Nisan, the new the new wheat that is now harvested, that's called the Chadosh, from, uh, from then on is permitted to be eaten because the Korban Omer was offered on the 16th day of Misa. Up until then, you could not eat from the new grain. Yet, from the day that the Omer was makrib, which is on Cholomoid, Right, the day after the first day of Yontiv, the 16th day, Yotzin Umotzin Shukei Yushalayim Shem Leim Kemach Vakolim. Already in the marketplaces, they had harvested wheat, kernels, flour, ready to sell. Obviously, this, this, these had been plucked and dealt with and grounded and dried prior to Yontif. Otherwise, how could you fill the marketplaces with all this material? Now, if they were working on this material prior to Yontif, the Korban Oimer had not been offered. Well, if the Korban Oimer had not been offered, you would not be able to eat from it. Well, how... And so the Gemara says, Shalom B'Rton Chachon Mein Oisin De Rab Meir. Reb Meir said that the fact that the, 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 the grocery sellers had this material to be sold already, we're not happy about it because they were goiser not to, not to, they were goiser that you shouldn't harvest wheat because you might come to eat it. Rabbi Yehuda is not concerned. I buy the dikav. Rabbi Yehuda is not concerned. I buy the dikav. We said he's concerned that the reason why we do the is because otherwise you might find a piece of chametz and eat it. How come here by the grain, he's not worried. He's not goiser. Right? The local goes Rabbi Yehuda. Dilma asi lamechlamine. Sakasha. Amar Rava. Shiny Chadash, Nitoch, Shalohi Tartalo, Eliade Kito, Fuzachor. You couldn't harvest it with a scythe. You had to harvest it with your hand. There, you had to do a Shinui. So, since they did a Shinui, they understood oh, you know, uh, the reason I'm harvesting with my hand is because the Oimer hasn't been makriv yet. Oh, I can't eat it. Armele Abaya. Tinich b'shas k'tiva, fine. So when they're harvesting with their hand, they're doing a shinui. They're going to remember they can't eat it. But what about tchina of and Michael and What about grinding it and sieving it? L'chura, that was done in a normal way. And then they, they, they're, they're doing it in a way where they might come to eat it. So the course says, no, those were also done in a shinui. Haloi kasha. Tchina v'rach They used a, a hand mill. And Harkada al Gabi Nafra. They used, uh, they did it on top of the sieve instead of using the sieve itself. 
So again, they did it in a shinoi. Okay, Elahadis Nan, there's another Mishnah that says, Koitzrin Besa Shmachin, Mishiba Makin, those fields that were irrigated, they could harvest regular of a low goat, and you couldn't pile it up. The Ukimnik Rabbi Yehuda, Michael Amemar, now there they did it not by hand, and, and it's also Rabbi Yehuda, and yet Rabbi Yehuda is not Goizer. So, Abaya, El Amr Abaya, Abaya makes a chilek. Chodosh bonu minei. Chodosh bonu minei. Chodosh, these people stayed away from it. Prior to the Mincha Soimer being offered, it was uh, taboo. Nobody got near Chodosh. So no, they're not, Chometz, you eat Chometz all year round. Lo bonu minei. So people don't stay away from Chometz. So, Rava points out also something. Amar Rava, dear Rabbi Yudah Yudah Kasha, Rabban Rabban Loi Kasha. I mean, you showed me a steer in Rabbi Yudah, but you also showed me a steer in Rabban, and you didn't say him for that. Dear Rabbi Yudah Yudah Loi Kasha, Kiddush Anino. You are explained that by Chodosh, people are bottled, and stay away from it. Chodosh, they don't. Rabban Rabban Anani Loi Kasha. Who asks when the Chazra love the story for Mechel Kochel Mine, meaning, the uh, by Bidikas Chomets, they're not worried about guy eat. What is the guy's running around gathering the Chomets for what purpose to burn it? So you can worry that he's going to come to eat it, it's not going to come to eat it. Now, Ravashi Omar Dravyuda Vyuda he gave a different terrace. Kemach the Kolitznon. Oh, because flour, oh, you could eat flour and like kernels. If, if you wanted to eat that, there was no iser to eat that because that's not something that's normally eaten. So there wouldn't be a viscer there. But this teretz of Ravashi is rejected. Had Ravashi bedusi, this is confused. Fine. When it's when it's been roasted, there's a there's a there's no prohibit me. Karad kali Mike Lerner, but up until you got to that point, it would be prohibited. They keep with kedro, but you're gonna say maybe they harvested it by hand. He brought you brought me a mission that says they used harvesting techniques. Vukim the kravu to Michael Amemar. El Ravashi Vedusi. Ravashi is not a Ravashi's statement is not accepted. Afraid to Gemara. The whole hecha the loy bottle, me name, because of Rabbi Huda. We said that that on an item that people don't stay away from, Rabbi Huda was goiser. So we said by Chomet, since people don't stay away from it, uh, Rabbi Huda was goiser. Gemara says, I'll show you that that's not correct. But every time that people don't stay away from it, Rebuta makes a gzeir vatnan. You cannot make this, if you have like a receptacle for oil and you, you, you bent like a little egg-shaped tool, filled it with oil, it would drip, serves as a sort of a drip uh, replenishing for the candle, even if it was made of cheres and becomes mo's, we're concerned that people are going to dip their bread into it and use the oil. And by if you do that, you're reducing the oil, you're extinguishing the flame. You're being chayiv for mechabe. But Rabbi Yehuda was matir. Even though shemen never is, people don't stay away from shemen. They use shemen. So why is Rabbi the Goiser here? So the Gemara says, also Mishum Chumah the Shabbos Mivdo, but he doesn't have to be Goiser because of the stringency of Shabbos. People stay away from stringency of Shabbos. However, Rami the Shabbos a Shabbos. I'll show you a contradiction. The Tanya, 
Chevel Bli Shenifsa. You have a bucket that is used to draw water from a well. And there's a rope attached to it and it broke. So how do you, how do you draw water? Lo ye kotro el omno. You're not allowed to make a permanent knot, but you can make a bow. Rabbi Yudha Oimer, Karech alav punda opsika. You wrap something else, not a rope, around it. Uvavad shlo ya, don't make a bow. Because we're concerned it might be, might make a kesher shal kayama. So how come in the previous case, because of the stringency of Shabbos, Rabbi Yudha did not make you make exam, and here he makes exam. And not only that, there's a machlokas despite the, over there, the chachamim make exam. Here they don't make exam. So it's a kasha to Rabbi Yudha, the kasha to Rabbi Yudha, the kasha to Rabbi Yudha, the kasha to Rabbi because people will use the Shemit because they use it all year. Therefore, it might come to eat it. But Aniva Bikshir Lon Michla. People are not going to be confused between a, making a bow versus making a real knot. Rabbi Yehuda is making a Gzeira. He says Aniva is in fact Kshira. And says the Gemara, Rami Rabbon, I'm going to show you another steer. This non. Koishrin Vli Bipsikia, Valoba Chevel. You can use a, uh, whatever a psikia is, it's not a rope. Some other item uh, that is not a rope. That you can tie to a bucket of a little chevel, so it's a shinui. But Rabbi Yudah Mati, Rabbi Yudah allows you to use a rope, a chevel demai. What kind of chevel? Ile me chevel dal ma. You talking about a regular rope? Why would Rabbi Yudah Mati? You're making a kesher shulkayama with the vaday osi levetumai, and he'll leave it there so it'll be a kesher shulkayama. Elab she did the garden. It's like made out of nylon, made out of some synthetic. The gods are abon and chevel the garden to chevel dal ma. Did the Chachami make a gzeira regarding this gardi because of the regular chabal in? Chabal v'chabal mechlef, and even b'kshir lo mechlef. Regarding ropes, they were concerned people would make a mistake. But to make a mistake between making a bow versus tying a regular knot, that people know that they, you're not allowed to make a knot, that you're allowed to make a bow. And then we're going to ask the kasha the other way. Kol heicha de bonu minei, we said that people stay away from Chodosh prior to the Mincha Soimah. Rabbi Yudah did not make a because people are B'dil Minei. So Freyti Gemar V'Kolecha, the B'dil Minei, Logos Rabbi Yudah. What, every time people stay away from things, Rabbi Yudah was not Goizer. I'll show you that he is Goizer, even though people stay away from it. Batanya. Bechor Sha'ach Sodam. You have a, the firstborn of an animal. The din of the firstborn of an animal, you have to give it to the Koyen and it's a bechor, and the koyen has to offer it to the base of Mikdash as a korbin. It's a shlomim, so he can eat it. Now, if the bechor got a mum, so the bechor is now the personal property of the koyen. He can shech the dischulim. Now, what about bechor? And you're not allowed to make a mum in a bechor. Bechor sha'achsudam, a bechor, one of these animals got too much blood. And even if he's going to die, you're not allowed to do bloodletting on him. Because as a Kadosh animal, you're not allowed to make a mum in him. Dear Rabbi Yehuda, So you see, Rabbi Rab Yudah was goyzer even by a by kachim that people stay away from. Chum Ramiyakis. You can do bloodletting as long as you do it in a way shelo yatu bomi. So how come Rabbi Yudah here, even though normally hegdish is something that people stay away from, yet he made gzeira? Also, we talk shaladam. 
because this is a valuable, it's a thousand dollar animal. He's very worried that he's going to lose all of his money. He makes a yeah. He's going to do it. He knows he's supposed to try to do it in a place where it does make a mum, but he's going to do it in a place that makes a mum. So to avoid that, and he's all confused because of his money, loss of his money, we're goiser. So it's not just deal me, it's because of now, if you don't permit him to do anything, maybe he'll do it even in a place where you make a moon. So that's the swore why they are lenient. Now, it seemed like the Gemara understood that Rabbi Yehuda accepts the swara of that a person is, you know, he gets excited about his money. He's going to make a mistake. Is that so? But not. You know, I'm here. And Makadrin Abeyma Bionto. There were certain combs that if you use the comb, if it, it would it would make a wound in the animal, which is a mlocha on Yonti. So you're not allowed to comb your animal. Which means you could use a comb, which didn't have such sharp teeth. What's the difference? These are small teeth in the comb, so it makes a wound. There's a wide space between the combs. Yet, how come we're not concerned here that he's bol amamoinoi? He's not goiser. That, that maybe he's gonna, if you're gonna give him a permission to use the big comb, he's gonna use the little comb. So why, so what's the difference? Has on the shavikle mayas. There, by the case of the b'chor that was dying of too much blood, then I'm reading an Adam Bol because it was life and death. Hacha Yishavik lay, if he's Tsar Balmahu, that's not a matter of money, it's a matter of uh, it causes the animal pain or not pain. So there we don't say it's Bolu. Lo Yam Rina an Adam Bol Amamoy. Rabbi Yudha Maish, no Gabi Chamit to Gazar. So how come then by Bidika, Rabbi Yudha was Goizer because he was afraid. People would come to eat the chametz. Umayish to gabi kirtsuf the loy gozer, but yet here by the kirtsuf, they were not gozer not to do kirtsuf because you might do the the card the the kedera. So lechem belechem machlif. He doesn't know the different chametz matz. It's all the same, but kida bekartsuf loy machlif. But everybody knew the difference between these combs. Mishnah. Rav Meir Oimer. Oichlin kol chamesh. Were you allowed to eat chametz up the whole fifth hour? V'tsorfin b'tchila sheish. And you start burning the beginning of the sixth hour at 11 o'clock. Right? The end of the sixth hour is 12 o'clock. The beginning of the seventh hour is 12.01. Rav Yud Oimer. Oichlin kol arba. You eat from nine to ten, from ten to eleven toilin, toilin kol chamesh. Toilin means you suspend it. You don't eat, you don't burn. And sorfin betchila sheish. You burn at the beginning of the eleventh hour, the beginning, beginning of the sixth hour, eleven o'clock. V'adam Rav Yehuda shtei chalish shol toy the psulos unachas agabi tzibur. When you brought a korban toda, you brought forty loaves of bread. 30 of a matzah, 10 of them chametz. So they would purposely find two puzzle dika chalois made of chametz and they would put it on an elevated rock by Harabais. 
And that's where, you know, like a, the, main, the main drag. And Kozman Shemunachos, when people would look and they would see both loaves are still there, Kola Am Oichlin. So that, that you're still allowed to eat Chametz. Nitla Achas, one loaf was removed. So that was toilet. That was the fifth hour where Rabbi Yehuda said, it's toilet. We don't burn it. We don't eat. Now, then they removed both. So that was the simon. You got everybody has to burn their chametz. It's chilakolam sarfi. Rabbi Gamliel Oimer, a third opinion. Chulan nechalan kolarba. Chulan was eaten up until the, you know, the end of the fourth hour. Truma kol chametz. Truma was allowed to be eaten even in the fifth hour. The sarfin betchil hashesh. You have two aid, two aid him, come to Besden, and they say on Monday at one o'clock, across from Harry's bar, we saw Reuven kill Shimon. But one of the aid said it was the second day of the month, and the other said it was the third day of the month. So the din is a dusim kayemis. We don't throw out their edus because shazeo debi One aid knew that the previous the previous month was declared a thirty day month, and therefore today is only the second day of the month. And the other guy didn't know that the previous month was a thirty day month. Thought that Rosh Chodesh was declared early, and today is the third of the month. They're really talking about the same day. However. Then it's then this the edus is masaser one and another, and it, we don't accept the edus. If one says day three, and you know it was the third of the month, and the other says it's fifth of the month. Now, same thing. One guy said it was one p.m., the other said it's two p.m. We say that's okay. Rameer says if they're off by two hours, one said three o'clock, the other says five o'clock, the, it's not a good edus. Rabbi Yudah Amir Edusim Kayemis. But Rabbi Yudah says in that case, we do accept it. However, one of the items said it was the fifth hour, the other way said it was the seventh hour, then even Rabbi Yudah holds Edusim Beteva. Shabachamesh Chama bin Mizrah. At the fifth hour of the day, the sun is still to the east. So you, there's no way they would have been, they made a mistake in that way. Seems like Rav Meir holds Ein Adam Tor Velo Klum. And the Divrei Rav Yudah Adam Tor Chatsi Shah. Means Rav Meir doesn't allow any error. And Rav Yudah allows a half an hour. How does that work? Ladiv Rab Meir ain't not on top of the Maisa Kiyavim Mephik Tarti Uma Ayel Plus. The event really occurred 2 30. The other Kamer Shtayim, when he said two, he meant Besov Shtayim. The other Kamer Sholish, he meant Betrila Sholish. So he's, they're talking about the same event. Ladiv Rayud Adam Tochatsi Shah. You're allowed to make 30 minute errors. But really, it happened at 3.30. Why the Kamer Shalosh was Besof Shalosh. The Katoi Pag and the Shai Gil Kamei. He was 30 minutes off. Why the Kamer Chamesh, but Chilos Chamesh was at like 4.01. The Katoi Pag and the Shai Gil Kamei went backwards. Because the beginning of the fifth hour is 4.01. Ikid Yami Yom Rabbi Kishitim Salam Adim Rab Meir Adim Toyem Mashu. That means... They make a little bit of a, a, a mistake. The Rabbi Yudah Adam taught Shaul Mashu. The Rabbi Adam taught Mashu Maiseki Ava Oy Besov Shtayim Ava Obitchila Shalish. The event happened either at the end of the second hour, or the beginning of the third hour. The Chad Minayu taught Mashu. One of them said two. One of them said three. They were a little bit off. The Rabbi Yudah Adam taught Shaul Mashu. Maiseki Ava Oy Besov Shalish Ava Obitchila Shalish was either at like three fifty nine. Or it was 501. They're off by an hour a little bit. Okay, very good. 